Happy Sunday! It's Sunday, well it'll be Monday for you by the time you actually see this, but for me it's Sunday and it's really good weather here in the UK today. It's going to be 24 degrees, which is good for us, so it's going to be a bit of a sweaty day, but hey ho. I'm all dressed up a bit fancy because we're going out later, so I thought rather than just lolling around in my sweats and then getting ready later when it's really, really hot, get ready now and then just touch up. You know later so i'm definitely channeling my very best bet lynch today um my hair feels really short but it looks a lot healthier i think so it's a good thing really isn't it isn't it and i can see now obviously because my fringe is sorted so all is well um this dress is actually not me made it's a brand new purchase and it's ready to wear i don't think i've bought a dress for over a year I must be. It may be longer, um, as in a ready-to-wear dress from a shop. <laughs> but I'm a sucker for um, watching people on Instagram who are like similar size to me or like mid-size to plus size um, and how they style things and I'm obsessed with it at the moment. And I watch a lady called Mama Loves Leopard and she's wonderful. She loves leopard print like me. And she's a lot shorter than me though. She's quite petite, but I really like some of the stuff that she wears. So yeah she had this on the other day she'd been sent them as like a pr thing i think it was from debenhams and she had this dress on and i was like oh i love it i love it i'm going on i went on it was from wallace i think and it was in the sale for 19 pounds so i had to have it so it got delivered i probably could have done my sizing down one size but that's okay we can live with that and it's basically a tilly in the buttons lotter dress in jersey which i've never tried the lot of dress in jersey i'll just quickly show you you won't be able to see all of it but it is just like a jersey it's got um little cuffs on it though i don't think the lot has cuffs does it this is elasticated and then you've got like a fake tie and it comes right down oh there's my new toes look Ooh. um it comes down to Oh, it's got a little slit in it as well. It's got a tiny little slit in it as well. Love that. But I just love the fabric. It reminds me very much of a fabric that I bought from Rainbow Fabrics years ago. And I made my Zadie jumpsuit in it. And also a Bakerloo blouse in it. So it goes from like a darker to a lighter to a darker. And I love it. And I've never been able to find kind of a fabric similar to that before. So I'm wearing that today because I feel all fancy in it. I think it's, so it's elastic here. It's not a channel. I don't know how they've done it. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, the elastic's just sewn into it. So if I had to, I can always unpick that and make it tighter if I wanted to. But it's so comfy. It's going to be hot. So yeah, I've got like gold eye makeup on and gold big massive hoops and stuff. And I'm loving it. I've even got my posh perfume on today for Sunday. Not that you guys can tell, but you know. So, was I waking up at 6.03 by my eldest? What's that all about? Basically, I've had to wake him up during the week, but on a weekend, he's either been in my bed at 3 o'clock in the morning because he can't get back to sleep, or he's awake at 6.03. So, <laughs> we were up quite early, but we just all chilled out in bed, all four of us. Then the boys were gaming together. They were playing really nicely together, you know, when you're like, what's going on? And then Tusband got up, made me a cup of tea and made me some poached eggs on bagel. I know, I know, right? I think basically what he's doing, right? I've, I've worked him out, I think. What he's doing is, because he knows I'm on here every day, he's doing all these things so that I tell you about him, so that you all think that he's absolutely wonderful. Which he is, but you know what I mean? I think he's going above and beyond at the moment and I think there's an ulterior motive. So at the moment, eldest is out with his mate at park. Uh, well, they've gone to the field with football. Um, youngest is having a little bit of me time. He's, he's been playing with his brother all morning. He's like, I just need a little bit of me time. My husband is out sanding the drive. No idea. Um, and I've been up, done a load of washing, emptied the dishwasher, cleaned up, tidied everywhere. And then I'm walking around, I went into the boys' playroom. So they have like a little small room where there's like all the gaming stuff in there because they they've decided they want to share a bedroom. So then we've got like another bedroom that they have as like all their gate with all their gaming stuff in it. And I walked in there and I was like, whoa, what is that smell? I was literally like, Bleh. um, 
and I'm, I don't understand what it is. And I've looked and there was like a little empty cup with a tiny dreg of milk in the bottom of it from them having it last night and they're not taking it downstairs. And I thought, it's not that. What the hell is it? I'm like, it's really bad. So I opened a window, because you know, boys and all that, like you just never know, do you? And then I came out and then I went back in again five minutes later. I'm like, no, there's something really bad. I looked in the bin and Jack the other day had some prawns. Now this sounds ridiculous. <laughs> you know, like he eats prawns all the time. He don't. He loves prawns. But they're so expensive, aren't they? But he'd been out with my mum and my mum had treated him to a little packet of prawns. <laughs> Me, my mum and Jack are all obsessed with prawns. Um, so he'd obviously eaten them upstairs in the playroom and then just chucked the packet with, you know, like the prawn juice in it, in the bin. It's actually making me want to vom now. <sighs> so I've had to take that downstairs, put it all in the bin and everything. <laughs> so I have put a candle on. I have Mrs. Hinch dead old everywhere and I can still smell it up my nose. I'm sure I can. But anyway, side note, you don't really need to know all about that, do you? But yeah, that's where we're at. So um, yeah, I've put a load of washing on now. I've sorted all the other washing out. I've done, I've washed all of my fabrics except for one, which I'm going to do after this load. I've put all the kids' other washing and bits and bobs away and I've tied it everywhere. I was a bit sweaty. Um, but now I've got, so we're leaving at two. It's quarter past 11 now. I feel like it's the afternoon we've done that much. Uh, it's quarter past 11 now, so I'm going to hopefully have an hour at least sewing up this bag. So I put a little sneak peek on Instagram last night. I've had loads of messages about it and I'm loving it. I'm loving making it because it's for my mum as well. But um, yesterday when I signed off from you guys, I just thought, you know what? I haven't put a label in the front and I really wanted to put a label in the front and I was cursing myself. So I went through my labels. I just wanted like a little tiny side label. And the new ones that I'd got a few weeks ago from Little Rosy Cheeks, tell me this isn't perfect. So I've unpicked it and popped it in and it says original. And it's those, you know, the ribbed ones, the new little ribbed ones. Um, there's orange ones as well that say something. I've put some of them in my Thea trousers um, that I'm doing for the Northern Soul Sisters. Um, but yeah, I've just unpicked that little bit there and I've put that little label in and it's just the cutest little thing so i'm really pleased with that so yeah i'm going to do a few more steps i've been watching some sewing bloggers as well while i've been getting ready today who have i watched i've watched adam sews um talking about all his new tula pink stuff i've been watching alison from so like dotty well i mean i really want to see her dress for um what was the like a night on the tune that was it the frock tails do that but she was she was showing nout so I need to go investigate that. And I've been watching Love Red Sews as well, say that she's on a fabric ban and then buy loads of fabric. I'm like, she is my kind of girl. Um, so yeah, I've watched three vlogs this morning while I was getting ready. I even, while I was blow drying my hair, put them up at like maximum volume and held them to my ear. <laughs> so dedicated I am, because I'm so behind on watching vlogs. So yeah, I think what I'm gonna do now though is, because when I'm watching, um a sewing vlog I want to look at the screen all the time because obviously I want to look at all the beautiful things so I think I'm going to do a little an hour now and I'm going to put true crime on and loads of people have messaged actually I've been reading them some of them this morning saying I watch the lawyer you know and I love true crime as well is it a big thing between um sewists and wanting to watch true crime and I've had loads of recommendations as well so thank you for that because I'm always looking out for like the next the next true crime thing. I can't watch too many of them in a row because then I just get scared about everything when I go out. <laughs> and I'm looking at me like that. Is he a murderer? <laughs> I know. So I've got me uh, <laughs> trusty Stanley Cup. Best thing ever. My free Stanley Cup keeps it all cold. Got a bit of ice in here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to crack on now for about an hour, hopefully, see how far I get. So I'll let you know. Right, okay. I didn't record everything that I did because we had a dilemma halfway through. I had a phone call from Jack's friend that he's out with's mum 
to say that Jack had lost his phone. Yay! But luckily, like I said to you before, we've got a tracker on it. So um, Steve jumped in the car, drove down, and they found it within about three minutes. So all is good with the world. Um, <laughs> drama on a Sunday. So I've basically got the back done now. That doesn't look too good, does it? Um, so I've attached the top handle. What I like about this backpack is you can kind of hold it like that as well. You don't have to have it on your back. I've attached all of the beautiful hardware and then it's all attached on the bottom to these, um, you know, like D-rings, but they're called triangle, whatever, majiggies. <laughs> Technical term. So they're on the back there. So that's all ready and waiting. Um, you have to line every single piece of this up and it's quite, it's like a puzzle basically. So it's kind of all like that. This has to be at 60 degrees. This has to be two and a quarter inches from there, blah, 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 blah. And then you sew this panel across the top and you top stitch it down. You do two layers at the top and then I've back stitched across on this top layer, every section that's got a strap in it just to give it a bit more stability. But I've changed my thread color now to one that matches the base color of the fabric and I'm glad I've chosen that. I was going to do it with the navy, but I thought if it goes a little bit wonky, it's not going to look as good. But I actually think I've done a pretty good job, to be fair, anyway. But I'm glad I went with that because it doesn't kind of, it just blends, which I think is really, really nice. So all I've got to do now on the front is basically pop them together, sew them down the sides. And then I think the next thing then is just to put the base in and then like the outer side is done. So yeah, I've just got to zip that up the sides, put the base part in, which is like an oval shape. So it's a little bit awkward, but it is what it is. And then I'm onto the lining. However, youngest has had his little bath now. Um, I'm gonna go and ank this load of washing out because it's so nice outside. And then he has just demanded that we're gonna play Scrabble, me and him. I was like, I'm really trying to make this bag for Nana. And he just looked at me with these puppy dog eyes. And I thought, how can I not? Because there'll come a day where he don't want to play Scrabble with me. And I'll be wanting to play Scrabble with me, won't I? So I'm like, yep, yeah, come on then, let's do it. So I was hoping to sew these down the sides and get the base panel in before finishing. But that's not going to happen. But it is now, what time is it now? Quarter to one. Yeah, we're leaving in just over an hour. So I doubt I'll have time to do that. But if I do, because I think it would only take about 15 minutes. I'll let you know. But anyway, for now, I'm off to Angry Washing Out and do uh, play a game of Scrabble with youngest. Well, I just got smashed by my eight year old at Scrabble. He got 236, I got 215. <laughs> but anyway. That has gone on for a long time. I was thinking I might be able to come back and sneakily sew those two sides together and put the base in. But that ain't going to happen. So we're just um, getting ready now to go to my friends. We're going over there for the afternoon and evening. We're going having some food and things like that. I don't think I'm going to be drinking, but never say never. So I may potentially be able to do that when we get back late because I'm not sure how long we're going to be there. But it's about two o'clock now, so we're just going to head off and I'll see you when I get back. So we are home. It is just coming up for eight o'clock and we've had the most gorgeous afternoon and evening. Sat in my friend's garden, eating lovely food, chatting and just generally having a very lovely time. So the kids just took loads of games with them and played very nicely, which was a bit strange. Um, so we've just come home now. So we said they can have a little bit of time and stay up a little bit later tonight. So they're going to have a little bit of just a bit of downtime. Husband is watching the Olympics. I have got a cuppa and I'm thinking maybe get the sides of this bag uh, sewn up and maybe put the base on. What do we think? Got a lovely peppermint tea. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll take you along with me. It's going to be a bit of a short one today though and then I'll be signing off. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you where I get up to anyway when I've done it.
right so did the side seams pressed them i've put the base on it's inside out i've just um had to pink and shear the seam allowance down so trim it down using the pinking scissors so i kind of flipped it out had a look at it make sure there wasn't any puckers and tucks and things like that and then i've put it back inside out i've done the seams and now i'm just gonna pop it back out at the bottom and there we go we've got the shell of the bag oh it's looking nice isn't it someone did say to me it would be a good idea for you to do the base a darker color and i agree totally but i just didn't have anything to hand um and also somebody said do you want why don't you put feet in the bottom of it for when you put it down but i have obviously got this buckthorn rucksack and i've used it quite a bit myself and it doesn't kind of sit anyway it just flops so hopefully it'll just be put on a chair <laughs> let's hope so anyway so yeah there's the front look with the pocket and then at the back are the straps all with that beautiful hardware i was unsure whether this would work with the bag to be honest i was gonna go silver but i just knew my mum would love this so there's somebody at the door what do you want what do you want oh hello dad's trying to make us go to bed at nine even though he said we could stay up late oh dad's trying to make us go to bed at nine even though i said he could stay up late do you need me to come and beat him up what are you, why are you pulling weird faces? Go on, be gone. I'll be down in a minute. I'll sort it, don't you worry. So, there we go, anyway. Do we like it? Um, yeah, so what do you think about the hardware? I think it looks nice now it's on, actually. I was a bit worried, like I say, I thought I was going to do like a gun metal or a silver, but I actually quite like it now, now that it's on there. Just need to level up those straps a little bit, don't we? But I'm absolutely loving it. So then next thing I need to do is start working on the lining, pop it in, pop the zip on and we're done. You know, like I'm going to get that done in next to no time. It's going to take a little while, but I'm just pleased to at least got the outside done so that I could see what all of it looked like together. And yeah, I'm really pleased with how it's all come out. So, woohoo! Right, that leaves me to say adieu. So I'm going to go. Um, husband and I watched a movie last night, probably going to try and do another movie, but I don't know. I, I don't like putting a movie on past nine o'clock. <laughs> I feel old. But yeah, so I just wanted to say thank you for joining me all week. It's been fun. I forgot how much hard work it was actually, but I also forgot how much I enjoyed it. So it has been good fun doing it, but yeah, maybe I'll just do this once every three months I was thinking once a quarter I was thinking I'd maybe do this um because people seem to have enjoyed it anyway and I just wanted to say thank you I do know a few people have sent me a coffee on my Kofi account thank you very much I haven't ha managed to kind of go in have a look who it is message everybody etc so I just want to say a quick thank you now but I will be thanking people personally on a future vlog so Take care. I hope everybody's had loads of time for sewing this lovely weekend and I'll see you again soon in my next video. Bye.